Good morning and welcome to the third game of day one at the Australian Ultimate Championships for 2024. My name's Andrew Maroney, joined by Avril Tam. And Avril, we've got a battle of a couple of New South Wales teams here. That's right, and a piece of medal to battle out for. There is a piece of medal to battle out for. We'll come to that later. That's um, a unique thing from a couple of unique teams, we'll call it. Uh, so both teams are playing for... This steel plate slash shard. Uh, so they've got all the previous games kind of etched in there. The winner has to uh, lug that around mm. for the, until they, the teams play again. But um, some close games in there. They put the game scores in. Uh, so we'll have I-Beam uh, pulling there in dark from the right of screen down to crank. And I think we'll see it. That didn't come back in. So they're actually going to take it from the sideline. Nice, easy first opportunity for Crank. They are taking it right up. Really free, easy points for Crank to get started. And it looks like I-Beam are going to throw a, uh, a junk on them. I don't think this was the plan. No, I'd be but very you surprised. You never know with I-Beam because they're all a bit different. So Andrew Mitchell brings it in. Goes upstairs. Big hammer. Hugh Osborne's got to sniff at it, but it's... Oh! Yes, yeah, all safe. <laughs> all safe. It's a safe goal. It's a cross-field hammer. <laughs> Not entirely the start that I've been thinking of. One throw, one score. One throw, one, <laughs> <laughs> one, throw, one goal. Sat up a little bit. It was almost a little strip, but yep. maintained possession and despite the contact. Like that rainbow beanie on the mark. It's out there. Bryce Winchester going back and doing his best not to initiate any contact. I think the only contact he did make was with the disc after it was caught. So, uh, As we have a look at the Crank team sheets. Uh, Crank out of Wollongong, but a lot of, uh, or a couple of pickups uh, with them. Tipman Wong uh, out of Victoria, where he was last time I chatted with him. Uh, captains Kevin Dang, Andrew Mitchell, uh, and Hayden Irish as the spirit captain. So with a decent, uh, a decent squad number here, they'd probably have north of 20. And Newcastle known for uh, having a, a short line. Not quite the short line of uh, about 10 years ago, they came with about 14 players and one nationals. It was. <laughs> they'll make a movie about it one day, and they'll make a movie about that man, John O'Greenfield. Well, John O'Greenfield's probably good for about three players. Yeah, Ryan Davey to Chris Hill. Chris Hill to Chris Stoddard. Stoddard back to Chris Hill. Goes to move out. Comes a poach, moves it through. Michael McKee lets one go. Let's the under it. Couple of the big boys. I think that's. Oh no, yeah, it's down. All right, so Crank will get a look at putting their first break in. 
Yeah, so ready a few big plays. That was number 25 from Crank using that language. Apologies if any of that came through. Impassioned uh, athletes about their sport Absolutely. as Crank now moving past the halfway line. They're up. It's Kevin Dang lets one go. And that's a goal to Thomas Webster. Dang to Webster. The entire Gong team storm the field because they've got their first break and they are up two zip. See pretty open throws. No one near that one. Dang. And just a separation. I mean, Lefty had to leave his player to try and make a contest of that. So the uh, the defensive structure across the board for I've been breaking down pretty severely there. Yeah. That was uh, between that and the uh, and they've, they've spiked to the buggery out of the game this so they need a new one good on you um between the start that that first pull and uh, a defensive breakdown it's probably not the start i've been wanted no i'd say in, in no fact, one really wants to pull no, it out no, in the front of their end zone no. it'd be a bold strategy maybe get in their head some false confidence only to tear it to shreds later we'll see well if uh if you know what year it was, the the heroics. I may have put some mayo on it with them having 14. Maybe they finished the tournament with 14. Lots of support in the uh, in the chat for both. Banjo's keen for beam. G Coleman a slightly less creative. Let's go crank. Yes, crank. Let's go crank. Good support from everyone. Keep it coming. So we've got. I've been picking up the disc, working up the sideline. Looks like it's a match defense. The horror offense. Oh, big one comes. Lovely float. <laughs> he just milks it for all it's worth. And well, Lefty was going to go and grab that. That's yeah. Chris Stoddard there, Lefty, because he's left-handed. Um, he was going to go for that, but then he saw the float and he was like, you know what? I probably don't need to yeah. throw that extra throw. And Michael Henry Thomas with the nice, uh, with the nice assist. So they're on the board. IBM are another team because of these these short lines. They do like playing through, or they have have to kind of play through the same players. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he knew the defender Easy. was trailing. Nowhere near the disc. So if the steel shard is anything to go, either scores on it. This will be a close one. There were a lot of 12 tens, 11 twelves. Uh, for those who haven't tuned into the first couple of games, it's a bit of a blustery wind. Uh, would say it's slightly favouring the end that you're looking at now. If you had to call it downwind, we'd probably call it that. So Crank will be, uh, sorry, I beam will be pulling upwind. But as you can see from the point before, gusty and a bit unpredictable. So we'll have to see which team yeah, manages exactly. that better. Yeah. All right, short-ish pull, but Crank away. They move. They looks like they're going into a. Oh, there. Okay, so I beam are playing a zone. Yep. Bit of an arrowhead look. Forcing crank just to move it between the handlers. Not a lot going on downfield. Wants the hammer. Instead, just goes lateral. So crank happy to move it laterally for now. Moves the big wide one out. Right, That's so Angus Jones. Back to the middle. It was Hayden Irish. Hayden Irish again. Getting every second pass now. Moves it across over to Mitchell, Andrew Mitchell. I've been doing well too. Ooh. Well, well done from Hayden Irish. Used his body to protect the drop zone. Irish ahead Ooh. of the disc now, so he's moved out of a, a handler spot. He's like, right, we need some poppers, so he's now moved up, and uh, now Mitchell's gone back. Moves, works hard to break out to Aaron Sharma. I've been doing pretty well to slow down the disc movement after a few. Quick scores. Yeah, right, right on their brick mark, Andrew Mitchell. He's got Irish out far if he wants him. Instead goes the other side. Goes and gets it back. Starting to collapse down a bit. So you, I, I want to see him continue to use the width. Perfect to Irish. Yeah, the cutters, uh, sorry, the poppers aren't really coming into Absolutely that space for the continuation. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why and that's why Irish was getting yeah. up in, in front of the disc. Just to so try to generate movement. At least if the handlers are going to, there we go, there's a pop. Now to Irish. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Through the cup. He sent the cup to sleep there when he yeah. kind of 
Cock the big one. Lovely oh, one out wide. Some movement now for Crank. This is Jones. This is Kobe Ryan. Faulkner. Oh, hammer. Ooh. Let's one go, and it's a goal. Nice one, Faulkner. Made his teammate work for it. But it pays off. Very nice by Crank. You could see as they started to get a bit more movement with their legs between the handlers and the poppers, that really opened up the space a little more and enabled them to actually move downfield fairly quickly. So I've been doing a good job defensively in that um, back half, but couldn't quite hold it together. Aaron Sharma is the one touching the goal. Faulkner let it fly. Nice safe grab, two hands before he hit the deck. Happy with himself and rightly so. So crank one three. Let's see if Newcastle can pull it back. Their zone was fairly effective first half, not so good in the second half. Let's see if they can slot a nice, clean offensive point in. And thank you to uh, an old friend, John McNaughton, letting me know uh, it was 2010 when uh, I've been one national. So wow. 14 short years ago, as we see Davy out. Moves out wide. Nice flick straight back inside. Good flow from IB Ooh. now. Bobble. Yeah, I think the handler just sprinted forward and the disc was thrown behind. Yeah. There is enough wind that you can't be throwing that. Yeah, without rough, enough rotation on the disc, Spot it's not going to hold its line. Over to Kevin Dang. Kevin Dang move, keeping the break action going. Dean Scott, Dean Scott Ooh. makes Dan work for it, but it's too much. So Davey's gone. Davey's got to keep going. They're going to work yeah, it yeah, here. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Chris Hill's going to get his disc golf on. That's what he identifies as now, mainly a disc golfer. Moonlighting as a Frisbee player. Davey. Henry Thomas to Greeny. Lovely break around. If anyone has old man jokes to, that I can read out to Greeny, let me know. Post them in the chat. Henry Thomas at the brick, brick mark. He's got Greeny in the dump if he wants him. Count gets high. Greeny moves. Greeny gets the disc. Gets whatever he wants, this man. Ryan Davey. Inside oh. flick. Laser. Goal. Oof. Crank had a couple of bites at it. But the throw was just that good. From Ryan Davey. Very humble man. Just walking to the sideline. Not getting a single dap from his teammates. Restella inside. Flat flick. You see it here, and you see top of screen cutting from the back of the stack. That's textbook. That's what you like. To his advantage, goal. I've been looking really good when they can get it on that break side. They're actually working out the continuations yep. and punishing yeah. that. So, so just yeah. Top left of screen. Two defenders there, but the throw good enough, flat enough, fast enough. Yeah, I think if Ivan can keep swinging the disc and making sure they punish that break side they'll be looking good for the rest of the game and the man himself is the captain Ryan Davey uh, he is the captain Chris Hill is the spirit captain John Greenfield is the spiritual captain of this uh, team you also got uh, a couple of um, Masters players uh, Tim Hayes Ryan Davey John O'Greenfield Hugh Osborne all playing together on I-Beam Good prep coming into the campaign for Masters in California in November. I hope it's going to be warmer than here. <laughs> not warmer than here, I'm not playing. So nice floaty pull from I-Beam. Mitchell. Moves it back. Goes to Goose Jones. Moves it up. Faulkner. Now. Sidearm wants to go <laughs> up from Mitchell, doesn't. So Crank moving it. That's yeah. Irish. Oh, lovely. Moves it out to Mitchell. To Jones. Goose Jones gets Mitchell up the line, and Mitchell goes open side. That's a goal. That's probably the easiest goal of the. Oh well, sorry, outside the first point where it was a throw. <laughs> um, that. 
defensive pressure there. I, I don't think that that's right. Look, I don't know what the strategy is. Yeah, I like, was like, trying to have a look. Are they containing it? Are yeah. they they're not, I, it didn't look like they were transitioning. I don't know if whatever they're playing is working. It's, um, yeah. Like too many options. That's like kind of open throw, open throw goal. Yeah, to me, it looks like they were trying to just make them swing and pass a lot and hoping for a drop, but doesn't look like that's going to be happening with the skill level of this team. They did transition to match, but I think it was a little bit too late there. So either they've got to force something else with that zone, or maybe just try a tight match and put some pressure on those catches. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's because they're trying to hedge their bets a bit, and it's finding them in, in no man's land. Yeah, because the like force swing is not really happening. Or well, not really working, sorry. As we've got Crank with a big slowly pull. Greeny to pick up. And they've got a vert they've got a vert stack going now, I beam. And cutting really hard in that under space. A nice fake long coming back under. He's looking for the big. It's a flat one. Although the wind helps him out and just keeps it afloat for his receiver to run on. That's Nathan Inners. They've always had nice offense, I beam. Always had nice offense. Yeah, so I've been doing really, really well just to uh, beat their match one on one. Easy as you like on the open side. So All the right. sun's come out once more. Wind's died down. We've got I-beam coming out on defense. We've got Crank moving things quickly. Setting up a horror. We've got a deep one's option gone. going yeah. quick, yeah. They're not sure if it's going to get over the head of defender. Oh, oh, second back grab. Oh, oh, you're kidding. <laughs> you're kidding. Oh, as a defender, that's a heartbreaker. Sammy Jacobs, I think that was in the deep space. Did a, knew he wasn't going to get there, but had to just make a contest, like almost like a phantom D. Yeah. Did get it, but uh, yeah, you can see bottom of screen, he's gone, he's off. Wow, didn't even look at it. Kobe yeah. Ryan kind of took his eyes off it, but it ma managed to do enough to uh, spike it up. And look, that's that's look, that's half a sniff from I beam, but like it's kind of what we're saying, like. That throw went up because there probably wasn't enough pressure on that first pass. The whole idea of having that zone is that you've got a lot of bodies in front of the disc to try and make that throw, at least make the throw hard, if not to try to turn it yeah. away altogether. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're huh. just going to find a way defensively at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I-beam uh, looking second rate here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, both these teams looking for their first win, Avril, I believe. Mm. Neither of them, uh, both of them having played one game, yep. neither of them having won one game. Here we go, Z! Here we go, Connor! Crank asking for more intensity on the D line. I beam just staying nice and calm on offense as Greeny picking up. Goes to Davy. Davy just past the brick mark. Davy goes with the round flat flick to, green, uh, to lefty. Lefty There's wants to let one go, doesn't. There's a pick call. Pick call. Liam Doherty had an acre, acre of space. space. And, and now his man's going to line up deep on him. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> not, yep, back you go, young blood. Nice try. Sasha Pucky trying uh, a veteran <laughs> move. He doesn't look old enough to be a veteran. Leave that to, the, to blokes like me. And he's gone, oh, and it's going. It's a big hark. It's going over the head. Beautiful. Perfectly weighted. Beautiful throw. That's Liam Doherty. 
See that that pick uh, uh, separation? That was all the difference. Yep, 100%. Nice closing speed from from Sasha. See? So I've been doing the right things on O. Probably not doing the right things on D, but let's see if they adjust. Yep. And again, majority of points scored on that slight downwind end. Yeah. To your to your left of screen. So let's see what Ibeam can pull out on defense now, just to try and slow Crank down because they're really not under a lot of pressure at all. Not just the actual pressure itself, but a bit of investment for the rest of the game. Sometimes if you get a few bids or attempts, you know, the offense starts feeling a little bit more pressure, starts giving you a few more opportunities, missed throws, missed cues. A little more information on the 14-year anniversary of uh, Crank's win. That's uh, sorry, Ibeam's win. 2010 Adelaide and Hobbit broke his collarbone catching a goal and the ambulance was only 10 minutes away. I think that was in the final, wasn't it? So wow. the final or the semi. Broke his collarbone, full bid layout. I think he got it. And then they did it for Hobbit. Thanks, Jangles. So we've got I-Beam coming out in a bit of a junk. Similar to the one before, although looks like it might be transitioned. They might have transitioned for a match now. Slowing them down, but now comes a big. Oh, that's a beautifully weighted throw. Knocking on the doorstep now, Crank. Sideline asking for patience. Oh, oh well done. It's a score. Again, just punishing them on the deep shots. Yeah, I'm, you're right, they are. But I, I think that was at least better. Like, Hugh, Hugh yeah. Osborne had a bid. I don't know how they scored the goal because it kind of flo like, floated there. above. That yeah. one floats, okay. You're right, it's, it is the deep stuff that's hurting them. But even this, like, throw for the goal, watch. It always, the defender almost runs under it. Yeah. It has a big S. Massive comeback. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, if I was, you know, Tim Lavis, well, I wouldn't, wouldn't be Tim Lavis, but because he wouldn't be happy. But if I was Tim Lavis, if, was a, if there was such a thing as a happy Tim Lavis, it'd be like, you know what? That's, that's a better. step in the right yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah. Now let's keep doing it. Yeah, they definitely held the handlers back. Didn't get much yardage for, I don't know, maybe six or seven passes, and then yeah, came the big. And then shot it, yeah. yeah. They're far from out of it. 4 6. We got a game. We said coming in that these two teams probably round about the same level. Mm. Um, maybe try and ja jag a cheeky uh, quarterfinal spot, maybe. And then from there, who knows? Yeah. But this, this game is super important because you need to beat the teams just at about your level in order to have a crack at the bigger ones. That's it. Davey with the disc. Looks back to goes to Greeny. Greeny, undershot. Dirty. Oh, and sure goes a big. One. big. And again, lefty. Again, this great one. Space. He milks in as well. Very nice. So lefty getting good at uh, milking him in. What do you reckon, do I-Beam have any kind of shut down defensive players who you think you could limit that handler, those handler shots? Good question. It's probably Ryan Davey. Yeah. Like Davey, Davey is pretty good around a, around a dump. Um, uh, Tim Lavis can cause a few problems around, around the disc as well. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, it's a good point. It's probably like a... Yeah, a Davey and a Lavis. You want to keep Chili downfield. Uh, the, the other option, unconventionally, would be Sammy Jacobs. So Sammy, uh, number seven on the line. Uh, he's lightning, mm -hmm. but he's also quite agile. So he can take away the first or second cut. Yeah. Because um, it's a good point. I mean, it all starts from the handlers. Like if, if there could be a little bit more pressure, take away the one shot from the handlers, then the deep shot's not going. Yeah. I wonder what the coaching minds of Ibeam are thinking at the moment. What are they going to pull out for this defensive line? 5 6 the score. Let's see if Ibeam can peg one back here, get a break. Tim Hayes down on the first pass at the brick mark. Gong move it across. A long one. Goes to go, but doesn't go. So good early signs from Ibeam. 
field. The defense has ratcheted up a step now. Yeah. One, a long shot goes, and they're about six blokes under it, and it overshoots. Ooh. Okay, so, so here we go. I beam. That's what I beam were looking for. That's what we called for. D line doing the job. Nice to know if the commentary kick goes under. <laughs> we can move into coaching. I think what Ibeam did really well there was to drive the usual handlers upfield yeah. and to get the less comfortable yeah. players holding the disc, which probably contributed to that overflow, overthrow pattern. All right, so Ibeam on O now. Moving it across. Towards the middle of the field. Ben Richardson. There you go. Ooh, high disc. Manages to catch it. Not much movement now. Handler dump, trying to generate. Just a small open go, throw. Go, put that. Go, go, go. Oh, that's oh, He had the momentum, power position, but nothing You've coming. still got Sam Jacobs, 10 oh, metres free. It's oh, another, oh, that no. Is nuts. Just a slight overthrow with the upwind. Everyone's trying their best. Yeah. The main oh, jeez, took a head off. Laser. Who was that for? I reckon someone got a hand on it or head on it over there. Uh, yeah. Just kind of deflected a bit on the off. Absolute laser. Yeah, um, so Sammy Jacobs, that point before, yeah. he went up the line and then he continued. And, and this is what a lot of good players do, particularly quick players, is they'll make their up the line. They don't get it. They turn, straight away turn it into a long cut. They don't go to the stack. They don't recycle back. They go, you know what? Great, I'm going to make a little change of direction, angle it, flatten out my cut. And he was deep for probably two or three of those throws. Yeah. Okay. Ben Richo, he's Ooh. seen enough. He shoots one. It looks, It's a one-on-one. Oh, oh, the sun might have got, got in his yeah. eyes. <laughs> yeah. And if it didn't, he made sure everyone knew that that was the reason. Crank going for the quick one. Just got a lot of space. The flow's They're pretty good. They're going to look for a big, I bet. Yeah, the big's coming. Not good one to holster. I was Maintains say, possession. Yeah, good patience. Yeah. And again, the handler's just working it through. That's good flow. That's a continuation. Oh, to be disappointed that there wasn't a long option. Oh, it goes for a hammer across field. Oh, and that comes off. Oh, crank pull away. That's 7 yeah. 5. Kobe Ryan, I, I think that's his second hammer goal. I reckon he's, he's definitely caught a goal before. I think that might be his second hammer goal, actually. Two for two. Oh, so crank pulling ahead 5 7. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big I think one. Newcastle, oh. yeah, would have been disappointed. Is there a timeout call? There seems to be people milling about. No, I think they're just getting uh, just a little sorted. bit fatigued. So the profile of I-Beam, we've got a few more senior experienced blokes and then a few young bloods. I, th I reckon that's what you'd say. I think the average age in, in uh, Crane could be younger than, than I-Beam, but that's mainly because Greeny drives it up about <laughs> 10 years on his own. Um, but they're quick though. Like, really? I, you know, uh, um, Chili, what's his name? Chris Hill. He'd be 36, 37. He still runs all day. Um, similarly with, with Lefty, he'd be a bit younger, but still they've got wheels. Mm. So I don't think you'll see him run apart. And, and the fact that they br still bring relatively small squads. Yeah. And that suggests that, that they're fine with that. Their conditioning, yeah. 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 Need to ice baths for about three months after. Yeah. <laughs> So we see uh, Crank continue to go with this kind of junk, but they're able to make a, a few easy uh, inroads through Doherty. Davey. Davey, Henry Thomas. So Crank happy to leave a free, non-damaging throw. Back to Davis. Davis can break to uh, Doherty if he wants. Oh, I thought it was going to be a look away. Yeah, the junk's working really well for Crank at the moment, really slowing down I-Beam. Well, then, as I say Here that, they, they now snaffle one through. They break the cup open. Oh, long one to the cross field. Enough pressure from the Crank defender just to disrupt that catch. Yeah. Crank to set up on offense. It's like a match from I-Beam. It's a horror play. Offers a long and the under, but goes for the hand dump. Into the middle of the field. Some small space movement. So I think we're doing better to stop the big game. Pick, it's a pick, 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 send it all back. 
Kevin Tang working really hard. I think he was the one that um, got that kind of phantom D. Yeah. Yeah. Working really hard to get it up the line. There's, they're going to be asking whether it affected. Lefty saying he heard something. Must be very good hearing, Chris. Because it didn't look like it stopped. Ah, fair enough. Uh, Got to go back to where it uh, affected play just before the disc was released. So lefty gets to adjust. That one comes out. Dang, really small cut, but gets there. Lefty on the mark. Dang gets it inside. Ooh. Gets a bit of contact. <laughs> Greeny it's just called a travel <laughs> on the blokey flattened. Uh, uncontested foul from Greeny. Did ask if he was okay and then said he travelled. <laughs> to James Wu, another Ooh. one. Trav uh, oh, foul called. Foul. Yeah. Chile signal contested and said uncontested. Go figure. <laughs> Matt Lavis. <laughs> Lavis goes for the around, has to concede a bit of ground, but Dang does well. Stack does adjust also well. I've been ratcheting it up here. This is better defense. Couple of oh. bids, and this one's still going to float. And they get another turn. Mitchell's gone. Go it's got to go. Go, go, go. Sucking him in, bang. Ooh. We're all right. Foul, uncontested. Uh, I, I reckon you probably uncontest that. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he would have been able to get him without. Get the, yeah. Sorry, get the disc without getting him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uncontested foul. So, probably in the last six throws, we've seen three fouls or body contacts, but all of them uncontested. None of them uh, malicious at all, and everyone's still smile. So, that's what we like to see. That's it. And you can see um, I've been turning up the pressure. I mean, yes, one could argue maybe they shouldn't have gone for a couple of those in terms of the body control, but certainly putting the pressure on... Frank, and then getting the turn. Yeah. With the intensity. This is big now. This is big. Davey, you want it in his hands. Henry Thomas, not ha bad hands to have in either. Henry Thomas, inside flick, flat over to Mitchell. That's beautiful. It's opened up the whole field now. Then going to lefty. Lefty's got it just past the brick mark in the red zone. Fakes. Goes to John O'Greenfield, who gives it a little bit of Hollywood. <laughs> not entirely sure he needed to. Maybe he was falling down. But it's greeny, so we get around him. It's uh, actually in the rule books, rule 17.6.6-A, .6 get around greeny. And that's a big point. That's a massive point. Brings it up to 6-7. It feels like uh, Ivan were able to turn up the intensity that point, and that really caused the turn. And then, you know, once they get it on that break side, they're looking really, really smooth. So, this is the great thing. This is watch. I know I go on about him, but seriously, he's, he's elite. Watch Greeny. We won't see it in this shot, but his play is caught disc watching just yep. off to the left there, and then he does what you call a wrong turn, which is where you turn away from your defender, so you lose track of them for like 180 degrees until you hope to see them again. Uh, Greeny just waited. So that timing, he was not waiting for his teammate. He was waiting for his opponent, mm. and as soon as his opponent had checked. He knew he could go because he was looking at the disc and not looking at him. Yep. Smart offensive plays for those just starting out at home. Just watch your defender. Sometimes they'll give you a little out and you take advantage, take full advantage of it like Greeny did. All right, Sammy Jacobs with the pull. Nice looking one. It might just float out. No, they'll take it on the full. So Crank now with the response to take half. A lot on the line on this point, and they know it. And uh, I-Beam have switched up the lines a bit, I think. Yeah. They've had a few crossover. They've moved it up. Allow one short, and now oh, here one big. go. Oh. Just over the top. And that's half. But again, I will say, like I said before, that's not a... Like, if they throw that, if that comes off, especially in this kind of blustery breeze, good on that's him. coming out at 45, 50 degrees plus, that's fine. I think the, yep. the positive for IB is they've ratcheted up the pressure, particularly around the disc, which is what you were saying. Mm. 
Um, so this game, this is game one. This is two points as we see. We watch that go. Credit to the throw. It was great. It was kind of straight on him. But um, if you get to, if you throw that 15 times in a game and you win, you know, yeah, you exactly. Win. You take that yeah. as a defender. Yeah. I think you force them to do what you want them to do. Yeah. Um, well, not, you'll see. You'll see something from that. Again. Yeah. What I've noticed as well, the last couple of points, Ibeam have tried to. Um, push Irish out of that very comfortable handle yeah, space, you're right. yeah. Um, yeah. which means some of those longer shots are a little less accurate or a little less reliable. Um, yeah. So you can see them tactically just trying to minimise his impact on the game. Yeah, I have been. Um, I've been. It's, it's a good point. I've also been enjoying how uh, they brought uh, 22 Kevin Dang mm. into things. He was really aggressive up the line. Has been coming out as their swing. I think maybe filling in for Irish, almost like being yeah. a replacement. So yeah. uh, he's, been, uh, he's been good. And I think um, Crank have done really well. Obviously, in the first part of the game, they were really using the big throws on the long game to advantage. I-Beam has been trying to shut that down a little bit, but then Kevin Dang working really well on that small space, small ball, you know, quick movement, yep. showing that they've got more strings to their bow. Yeah, agreed. Thanks, mate. It's good, it's working well. Yeah, I'll have it, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, yeah. All right, and welcome back. Second half action coming at you from Ballarat, from B-Town, the B-Town Massive. 
for those just joining us, Crank uh, have an edge, 8-6. It's been an entertaining game. It's a and lovely pull. They better hope that's out the back because no one's gone near it. Has it rolled out? It must have rolled out, yeah. Lucky because no, no one from, <laughs> <laughs> no from my band wanted anything to do been, with it. Yeah, it would have been a Callahan sniff. Okay, stadium. so they're going to run a standard horror here where you'll see the wide wing come under. Mm. So one will clear out. Oh, don't mind me. Straight to the lefty who was poached. <laughs> yep, no need for a structure. Just throw to the poach player to Mitchell. Oh, sorry, Doherty. Doherty back to Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas Ooh. shows a bit of a Davy. Wise heads prevail. And he and goes and lets a nice flat shot. backy. Oh, lovely. And chilli goal. Chilli catch goal. Lovely flat backhand from Ryan Davy. Used, uh, had composure, knew his team, uh, his opponent would run under it. And chilli goal. I mean, be pretty pleased to start half like this. Uh, Big time. Not um, very different to how they started the game. Yeah, look at Chile right of screen, great amount of separation, cutting right to the front cone. Maybe I-Beam can turn their fortunes and really turn their defence on this half. I mean, like we said, it's it's it was better in the second stanza of the first half than the first. Yep. So can they keep that intensity? Yep. And I guess with Crank going in the slightly more upwind direction, yeah. is that going to also give a different look? No, they're going back to this junk. Okay, yeah, so let's okay. see. Not what I'd do, but anyway... They're out there, I mean, oh, on here. Yeah. So they're allowing, yeah, the, the, sorry, the crank handle is just coming up from behind, either beside or behind the disc. So it's really quite easy. Um, yeah, just those small passes. I reckon they've transitioned now. Yeah, yeah they've uh, transitioned now. Oh, oh. Lavis! Now we're starting to see the defensive intensity ramp up now that it's matched. And Crank showing composure now that it's moved around. Fraser. Going to Goose. That? Goose Jones. Jones goes the inside flick. It pays off. Staying really safe throws at the moment, Crank. Maintaining possession. Ooh. The bubble. Just bubbled and dropped. And so now a real live shot for oh. I-Beam to take this to evens. All right. Moves it to Lavis in the midfield. Lavis has any shot he wants. Has to go. Lavis just throws a slightly too wide. And they've got a scramble here. I-Beam, if they want to apply any kind of defensive pressure, they do. They get it to Irish. Irish. Irish fakes, then Irish throws. Now a little bit of yeah. no look, give go. It's a nice switch on defence though. Stop yep. that up line. Is it wide? He's got the inside break if he wants it. Doesn't. Now engages the dump. Mitchell goes up the line. They try. The count must be high. Ah, uh, they're, let, they're letting that dump go. And it looks like they're playing a kind Force of a, re middle. a return. Yeah, yep. almost middle. Oh. oh, that's just a lovely throw by Irish. Nice throw. Score by Crank to pull away 9-7. That stings because they had yep. a really, that not only did they get the turn, but they had it right in midfield. They're that opportunity has gone begging for I-Beam. Big time. Yeah, it's interesting because with the junk look that they're pulling on, it does look like that they're forcing middle, but that's just enabling those small short passes within the cup to come up from moving behind forward. Disc, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if they just need to adjust to maybe like, you know, force side or trap and maybe try and work it that way because the force middle isn't really working on the junk. It slowed them down, the force middle on match, but 
what would you say to IBEAM as a coach in terms of I'd, defensive I'd go adjustment? straight into match. Yeah. Straight into match. They, they, they look good when they play it. I don't see what advantage it's giving them help allowing um, a crank to move it up to probably midfield yeah. and then apply it. I'd rather, especially if you've got people like Chris Hill who can, who can launch a, mm. uh, a pool, and even Sammy Jacobs, great. Get, get some um, positional intensity, like, yeah. you know, where you're doing it from their end zone line. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. The zone's not working. Davey. The intensity is much better on match. Now and to Greeny. Greeny, aggressive How good uh, is he? upfield. Oh, and just I have been really playing aggressive style. They are absolutely rifling through the midfield. Shredding this. Ooh. And Davey's got the disc. Looks at the dump. Nice safe centre. And again, just some nice low disc slicing through to the middle. This is a very aggressive line. This yep. is probably a uh, offensive a set line. Yeah. yeah. Chili, Chris Hill. Looks for Thomas. Gets him. Gets a break. Davies coming right in. Chili's gone now yet. That was the right play. Chili power position. Looks break. Could throw anything he wants. <laughs> Eventually just goes to Greeny. He side arms yep, one for go. the goal. And I've been keeping touch 8 9. Nathan Innes catching the goal from Jono Greenfield. It's at least Jono's second, I think. That was really good awareness from Chris Hill. Could see that his opponent had uh, sagged in and gone to poach and take out the uh, the under that was coming through. And then from there, they could have raffled it off, actually. They were, the position uh, for Crank was within the end zone, was on the wrong side. So easy shot for uh, for Chris Hill. Made his mark work as well, throwing a lot of fakes. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, Green. Yeah, there you go. Two of them there. IBM did what they needed to on O. They've got to convert... On D, if they're going to win this. Yeah, that's it. If anyone has lunch ideas, we're interested. You don't have to bring it, but just uh, help the team out. Getting up to 1 o'clock now. We're getting peckish. Did you have breakfast? Oh, yeah, we had that. Yeah. Those, those rolls weren't bad. They were all right. Just the coffee. Yeah, the coffee had room no for brain, improvement. No. Yeah. Big pull goes up from my beam with a really aggressive pull chase. See, and, and so imagine playing match from yeah. here, right now. Yeah, again, they've they're just going to bunt jump. it around. Yeah. Each to their own. Big wing going wide. Lavis is leaving it. He's baiting it. He wants to throw it. He thought about it for oh. a very long time, and it's going to work. Just. <laughs> he thought that through like he was reading a book. Uh, moved. Oh. oh, oh. It was in front of Hazy's face he didn't realize yeah, deflected but crank still maintained possession irish again in that solid axis handler spot and irish see look how much driven upfield look how much more stagnant they are yes. now with the match yeah yeah and again driving irish upfield they've got less experienced handlers and that's what happens i'm not going to say it but I'm gonna, you know i'm thinking <laughs> you know what i'm we saying both, i'm thinking yeah we both think the same thing oh <laughs> So I've been getting the turns, but not the reward. Couldn't get the connection. That's disappointing. That was McKee and Lavis not able to connect. Sitting up a bit high. But the good thing is they're going straight into the match. match. Yeah. Oh, that's a big Great look. Great click, Sammy J. All, all day. And I've been back on offense now. What can they do with this possession? They're looking like they're in flow and some big options. Not throwing, keeping it conservative, making sure they've got the 100%. Yes, there we are. There we go. There we are. 50 minute mark. We are back to evens. I beam nine, crank nine. We got a game. I hope I beam come out in their match, do you, from the start? 100%. Surely. I mean, surely with Crank on downfield, sorry, downwind offence this point, mm. the zone's probably not really going to achieve what you want. No. No, I think the either a very short, if they're determined to play it, a very short um, uh, trance, maybe three passes or something, or just go straight into it. I mean, that's where you're getting your turns, guys. Do you think there's any benefit in putting on a bit of a power line for I-beam? It's a good question. I think 
different teams have different approaches to it. Like for de for oh no, you try. You probably want unless your O is getting pounded. You probably want to try and keep your offensive unit out there as as a unit. Yep. With D, maybe you bring someone across, especially if like you need an upwind, like like a Davy or a Chili, because here, Lavis' throws are elite. I don't know the other fellas as well. Like they do yeah. seem a bit younger. Yes. Who's going to be that one just to make sure? Even even just putting Crank's head. Hey, there could be a deep shot here. Yeah, just to steady the ship. I think like they've got the break now. You kind of. They've gone for that zone but again, defense right. again, that jump look. But you want to capitalize on this momentum, right? Like, yeah. Um, Cranker have already got doubts, right? They've been, just been broken. If you can yeah. get yeah. an easy. Here we go. Now, here we go. <laughs> All right, it begins. <laughs> Travel call. Um, but sorry to interrupt. Yeah, so. I agree, but but this what they're doing here. They're going to get to go and throw it 10, 20 times yeah. to each other. Getting those touches gets the the momentum back, or at least a bit of confidence back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Although it looks like it's collapsed now. Now it's, yeah, match. it's match. Here we go. Here we go. Gave the people what they want to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they get the D. I mean, and do we need I to mean. keep saying it? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they'll say, well, it's because we're playing it out of a transition. That's 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 the counter argument, but. It'd just be wrong. I don't know. I think with Dang um, Irish in that backfield, yeah. you know, they're too reliable. Yeah, exactly. So Lavis moving it up. Crosser. Over. Lavis getting busy. Lavis starting to run now. Grayson Haynes. These guys having a little play with a little bit of small ball. Osborne. Moves it out to Hugh Osborne. Bubbles it. And he's not going to be happy. No. He can be an angry man. Make no mistake. Don't let his, his docile demeanor fool you. There is a rage monster in there just waiting to come out. I've setting seen it up. and I enjoy it. Okay, so the setting up in that junk again. Again, dang Irish in the backfield. Okay, now the transition to match. Long options not thrown. Just playing the small ball now, maintaining possession. Oh. Centering back to Dang, ever reliable. Yeah, he's playing really well. Yeah. You hear Crank giving instructions to their players to come a bit closer, make it easier for the handlers. Small ball still working effectively. I think I think IBM is starting to get done on, out on their feet here. There are a lot of unders, like these open unders. Here's yeah. another one. Oh, we yeah, no one. Someone called it up. So well, everyone half looks around. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's always one. <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> and it did. Yeah. Looks like it touched. Down. Yeah. There you go. Down. All right. All right. I can take the lead here. <laughs> Lavis. Being the general here. Moves it through. Gets it to Winchester. Winchester doesn't have a mark. Oh, Irish is counting from about eight metres away. Osborne, he looked good that time. Winchester, nice bid to die. Oh. Oh, Lavis didn't put enough on it. And you're just. Oh, gets a few metres on the disc wonder. roll. Yeah, no hurry. <laughs> no hurry. He's picked it up. Oh. Caught Lavis sleeping. Oh. The play was spot on. Because Timmy just thought that his bloke yeah. was um, set in the stack. Those two had different ideas, but that's not the first time we've seen it uh, overthrown in that corner. No. Avril, and it's not the last. Oh. Oh, so this one's turning into a bit of a grinder. Yeah, yeah, it's um, especially for a, an I beam who do have a shorter, t a, a smaller line. We've it got only about probably uh, 16 or 18 players. I mean, it is a, it is nine nine. Mm. I know early call, but whoever wins the point wins the game. Oh, hugely <laughs> early call. I like it. I like early calls. Lavis, back in. Deep in his end zone. 
Moves it across to Sam Jacobs. Sam Jacobs throws the outside flick. It's a really nice looking one to Luke Prosser. Prosser, another little gainer, oh. but well picked off. He came off his line. He came off his player. That was Andrew Mitchell. He moves it into Kobe Ryan. Kobe over to Deng. Deng to Irish. Irish throws a high release, break flick, and it's a goal. Huge James Fletcher catching it. That's a big point. And as you heard it here first from Avila, whoever wins the point wins the game. Even though we've got about half an hour still to play. <laughs> I-beam definitely with their opportunities there, not able to capitalise. And will that come back to haunt them? We got a bit of love on the live streams. Thanks, we got guys. Rob thanking us for the commentary based on knowledge and stays centred on the game. Thanks very much for the love, Rob. We'll That's keep doing our best. Stunning. And anyone else who's uh, in tuning in to the live stream by Ulti TV, supported by Ultimate Australia, really pleased to be able to bring you Div 1 Nationals from Ballarat after last week's Div 2 in Shepparton. Lucas Love, these commentators are great IBM coaches. Just make sure that goes to one T. Lavis. Thank you, uh, Lucas. He'll be thrilled to hear that. And yes, nice. The commentary based in knowledge and centered on the game. I think he's more talking about you than me. But anyway. <laughs> or she. Uh, right. That'll be a brick of Michael Henry Thomas to take it. So IBM critical that they keep this one because yep. if they don't, it means it's an upwind break to uh, to crank. No, no one's liking that option given the gustiness of today. They've got a shot. Pretty deep stack, but we know that I-Beam's first look is generally on an under, and it will be. It'll be Chris yep. Hill taking an under. Nice work. Chili throw. Chili centred. Goes to Thomas. Low f break flick. That's a huge uh, grab from Doherty, who... Actually made three really good cuts before that one. Davey throws, goes up the line. Greeny. And Greeny, there's going to be a call. foul call. So he's saying foul, yep. It's a very long way away to, for a foul yeah. to have happened. Uh, so I think Greeny's a bit confused. Or was he saying that there was a... It must have maybe a push-off in the yeah. stack or something. I didn't see it, but uh, greeny has got all kind of tricks up his sleeve. Who knows? Who knows? Now watch Greeny actually change his cart and he's going to go to the cone and catch the goal. So I think the foul was called by the crack defender on Greeny, right? Yeah. The push-off, yeah. Yep. All right, we're back in. Go on, Greeny. I-beam looking to convert. Doherty. Looking that, to that break space, which is been very successful for them. Davey. All of I-Beam really... Oh, up, and foul on pull. the yeah. mark, I think. I-Beam are probably, I reckon, three steps too far to the yeah, left. Their agreed. stack, it's it's pretty clogged. Especially now that, yeah, Henry's going to go back there. Mm. It's pretty clogged. Now, on the upside, it means they've opened up all this space on the far, Open, on the far yeah. side. But they've got defenders there that they need to throw around. Yeah, but as we've seen from this game and some early games, that corner's the harder corner to throw to. If yep. they can open up that break side, that's when they've been looking really good on offense. Great oh, cut from Davey, not on it. Faking. Henry Thomas out. Chili comes out as the backup dump. Henry. Oh. On a platter. They make it work. On a platter. That throw got better the further it went. You know, yeah. <laughs> out, of the, out of the hand, I was like, oh no. But then it went further and then just uh, floated up nicely. So a little bit of calm now. 11, oh, sorry, 10 all. 10 all. Ooh. 10 all. So the pendulum of pressure swings back. Cranks way. So we got 10 all. She's a ring a ding ding. 
60 minute mark. The game's going for 90 minutes today. Is our understanding? It'll be 100 minutes uh, later in the tournament. All right. Chili pool. The pool is good. Irish confident take. Crank get it up to their brick mark with the first throw. And I've been persisting with their zone. Move it out wide. Faulkner moves it well. Moves it back. Get a Goose Jones. Jones to Kobe Ryan. Ryan gives a bit of shake and bake. Back to Goose Jones. Goose Jones wants the inside flick. Holds. Holds. Goose Jones, nice step back. Gets the dump midfield. Moves back. Throws. Yeah, that works. That's to Faulkner. Faulkner, now they've got a little bit of flow. Move it in. Sharma. To Kobe Ryan. Kobe Ryan fakes the flick. Wants to go around. Goes around with the backhand. I think that's Faulkner still. And they're on their sideline about five meters out from their line he goes the high release back in that's a that'll work that wins that's andrew mitchell with the goal that's a nice high release backy yeah beautiful well at least i beam put out an intense match defense on that on that point yeah yeah and we've got a timeout so i think i've been sensing that we're heading into the final stages of the game gonna need to have a quick yarn Maybe, to your point, have a chat about shortening lines. Mm. Or maybe go, hey, you know what? We're getting a lot of texts and calls about the commentators <laughs> saying, maybe we should just play match. What do you guys reckon? What was really impressive, though, for Crank, you know, they started with their pretty classic combo um, in the backfield. I think there was 25, was it? Mitchell, yep. Irish... But actually, during that point, they use, you know, Wong and Sharma. Sharma as yeah, well. some yeah, of the, Faulkner. you know, they were using their full roster. So that was really good to see. So both teams looking pretty calm, having a chat. So uh, the I-beam huddle, well, I could hear uh, Tim Lavis giving a, uh, it was a rah-rah. It was a bit of a, like a pump up. Um, he was basically saying we can't keep playing the way we're playing and expect to, uh, defensively, and expect to run over the top. He's like, we're going to need to kind of go up a level. Now, whether that's an intensity thing or it's a change in, in the tactics, is that a little bit of rain? Yeah, uh, the could sprinkle there again. Could there be another twist? Could there be another <sighs> twist? Okay. There is some grey clouds coming our way. But, um, yeah, that's clearly why they've called that timeout to go, don't don't amble through it. Yeah. You think that we're near enough and whatever will happen, you need to make a... Um, you need to go out and get it. You need yeah, to be really to be active. Shift yeah, around. 100%. Yeah. I think, the I guess, not quite passive, but kind of just been going through the motions a little bit. So wanting to amp up. See from a line perspective, it looks pretty similar to me. Yeah, I think they're gonna. I think they want to show faith to this yeah. offensive structure. Davy Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas looks to lefty in a pre-planned play. Ooh. Lefty just lets one go, and Chili's gone. Oh. Chili cut. Instead, looks under. Chili did really well. Drew about three defenders, oh. and that one's down. down. That's really unfortunate. Chili did such a good job to. Cut, like that cut was so believably dragged two if not three mm. left something under couldn't happen and now crank have a chance to put a dagger in dang oh. overthrows so i beam get a break there mark is going to be bringing it back right in front of our commentary position goes to greeny greeny Sends a wide one, but it just got big on uh, got big on lefty. Yeah. Throw was good, but just bobbled a tiny bit before it hit him. 
So, Crank, another chance. Deng, another chance. This time, open stance, backhand gut does complete. Goes out wide with one, and that one turns. So a few unforced errors starting to creep in. I think that's fatigue. I think it's concentration. A bit of wins. You need a player like Henry Thomas just to take control. Maybe even burn one. He looks yeah, for the break. Backy gets it. Lovely. That's good. Chili got, Chili's grabbed it. Fakes the backhand. Looks the flick. Wants to get Henry Thomas free on the dump, but he can't. Davey comes back to support. Very calm. Very balanced. Ooh, Throws the high release flick. And then Lefty goes with his flick. It's angled in, but it's going to work. Oh. And it's going to be a goal to Nathan Innes. Thrown by Lefty at angle. And I-beam do what they need to do and hold serve. 11 all. 11 all. With the rain Hit starting the to sprinkle. Both all fighting hard for, for the steal. See who brings it home. A message from Brett Davidson in the chat uh, asking about updates on other games. Very good question. We'll come back to you. Uh, we do have Zig Theory playing on the other field. We believe Zig are up. Um, so the, the fields that we are on, the showcase fields, um, only two uh, fields that are, are playable. So we can't really see what's going on in the wider park. Might uh, see if we can get it around the grounds from someone... Uh, Pick someone out. Who would you pick? What did you say? If they they score it, they win. They uh, win. Was crank. Crank? Okay, Scored I'm going that. for I-beam then. <laughs> <laughs> never doubt Greeny, right? No way. Never bet <laughs> against Greeny. It's pretty quiet, I have to say. Oh, so I 11, think it's 11. tense. I think it's yeah. tense. I think I think it's a, a bit of. I mean, the the, the chat's not tense. The, the chat's yeah, beam, yeah, boys. Someone hiding a purple goanna. I don't know, entirely know what that is. But anyway. All right, Irish picks up, throws early, and and they've gone straight into match. Would you know it? Let's see if they can get a turn. Early pressure. Counts getting up. Lavis is giving it a red hot go on the dump. Shuts the dump down. That's a stall eight. Really nice bailout uh, throw to Kobe Ryan. Ryan around Ooh, flick, but it's the high. Hands. It'll it'll bobble. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I beam. Lavis has a chance. Lighting up. That lefty blade. Oh, he drops. Sammy Jacobs takes that nine times out of ten. I know it was coming in at angle. Lefty going, shooting deep again. It came in pretty hard. Yeah. That's a clap catch. That's a clap catch. Sammy would like that one back. And it's getting greyer and it's getting windier. There's going to be at least one more twist in this tail. So it looks like uh, the gong, Wollongong going with a traditional... Horro. Ryan and Faulkner. One goes long. Faulkner's under. Really nice big poach out from Tim Hayes on the wide. Shuts it down. Another high count coming up. He's going to have to let it go. He does. It's a bid. Go again. And I beam again through some excellent defense, particularly around the disc. Those are both high counts. Those are bailout throws. And now, Timmy Lavis. Etched in Australian Dingo's legend when it comes to hammers. Is he going to throw one himself? Is he going to? No, again, the nice big around break. That's a uh, foul. Yeah, he's got to call that. Yeah, you had a bit at that after. I think that's a fair enough call. And this is one where I, I hope they use the game advisors because they're both in the play and didn't necessarily have perspective, especially your man that runs past him, mm. the crank player. Now he's gone up, he's yeah. made the contact. You know, could he have made another bid? Maybe, so it'd be really good if they they want to pick the game advisor's uh, brains on this one. But the players are allowed to talk about it, then they're allowed to invite perspectives from other players, and then they are allowed to uh, Engage the uh, the advisors. 
really loving the intensity that I've been bringing. Oh, for sure. That dump handler front of stack defense, just forcing those really tough throws and maybe, hopefully, converting them. So the advisors have been are uh, being consulted now, as we're just seeing replays of it. I think no doubt Turnover. about the foul. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about the foul. The question was, would he have uh, had a bid on it after? The consensus that they've arrived at is no. It's a turnover. I think is it with... It's with Wollongong Crank. With, with Crank, yep. because they caught it, and they've tapped it in. Yeah, tip one long with the disc. Oh, again, defensive pressure. Really oh. high with I-beam. Crank still with possession. Re reliable Mitchell to the middle of the field. Got Hill. Brian. Ooh, second <laughs> bid. <laughs> still with Crank. Oh, that's a... Oh, and defense. That's Russian blood stuff. Yep. We've got back to I-beam. Nice go. gainer under. Oh, oh no. He goes, no. Not they on. should have so many unders now. They do. Yeah. All right. Can I-beam stick it this time? Get reward for effort. They've get worked shorter. hard to get a couple of Ds. They need to get shorter. Yeah. See, they're cutting each other off. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Well done. And well done from Tim Hayes to pull out of that uh, that uh, cut because both of them there, he saw it. He, he sacrificed his cut yep. um, because he saw his teammate was in a better, better spot. Mm. And again, Crank looking more comfortable than I-Beam. Mm. Um, but I-Beam just finding a way to get it done. So they lead 12-10. Huge. That timeout worked its magic. You know, um, they asked for to bring the energy be more yeah, active, bit, yeah. yeah, be more assertive and more aggressive, and they've done it. Well done and a great response, Abby. So now what can Crank do? Pressure shifts towards them. I think timeout might have been called by Crank this time. Oh, I'm starting to get real hungry, Avril, not gonna lie. <laughs> We've got any more recommendations? Tell us about the breeze at ground level. Gusty, swirly, stiff. Gusty would be the best pick, I think. Um, it's kind of going, leaving, going, leaving. So the unpredictability is um, making it pretty hard for the teams out there. Not so much swirly and not so much stiff. But thanks for your comments, Link. We've got some support for I-Beam, the D-Line particularly. As we said, they've really brought the intensity and we'll see. It'll be Crank on offense going in that slightly upward di upwind direction. And you can hear Crank calling potentially a power line just to really secure that offense. Yeah, spot on. Uh, you, you did hear that. That's, um, that's coming out of Crank. So I beam either not call, calling a line quietly or not calling a line at all, which wouldn't surprise me given it's their D team. Yeah. Yeah, they did really well on that last point. Yeah. Bring it out again, get those opportunities, get the turn and convert. So, Greeny, the timeout just to say, you know, this is the last part of the game. Steal yourselves. Yeah, yeah. and also to get Chile on for the pull. Okay, very yeah. nice. I mean, he's, just, the, he's the man you want pulling it. Yeah, we just lose losing a little bit of equity on our pulls, and we want to see them walking that disc up to the line. So, let's see how it goes. Good luck. Massive oh, pull from my beam. He was not wrong. This is back corner <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Chile pull. Beware the Chile pull. Oh, this could be huge. This could be one of the smartest timeout calls that I-Beam have ever done. Did it strategically just to get Chile on to have a big pull. They are in the back of the end zone. They are in the absolute furnace. This could be the game, Crank. A couple players go deep for Hail Marys instead. Throws one out. Uh, left, he's going to gobble it up. He's going to throw the quick goal. Wow. And I-Beam, one of the most 
intellectual clever timeouts you'll ever see. Chili lets go an absolute bomb. Crank can't move it out of the back of the end zone. They have to hail Mary it. Lefty gobbles it up, throws the goal straight away. That's a huge play. That is massive. Well done, I beam. What a fantastic strategic um, opportunity there. After coming out on really aggressive defensive points. And the third brings it to 13-11. Phenomenal pull. Just pinned to the back of the end zone. Exactly as John O'Greenfield called it. To the T. Uh, see a big pull from Chile. Put the pressure on, get the turn early. Chris Stoddard reading it well. Bam. That's a massive turning point. And Peter Walters, yes, correct. Huge turnaround from I-Beam. So the pressure really shifts squarely towards Crank now. I-Beam look to be retaining this shard of steel. It's a bit weird if I'm being honest, but anyway. <laughs> Adds a couple of kilos, so you wouldn't be want to. You wouldn't want to be taking it home if you haven't got any check-in. But it's like a proper like. It's an off-cut. Uh, tetanus it? shot, right? Yeah. Like you're, <laughs> if I'm looking at that insecurity, I'm like, yeah, you're not taking that on the plane. Right. Like that's going in your check that's baggage. That's checked, yeah. All right, Crank must score this to stay in touch as we hit the 76-minute mark, yeah. and they're straight into match. We like it. Straight into aggressive match too. Counts or five. having to go backwards. We're just rifling it through the handers at the moment. Getting some small ball upfield. Faulkner and Ryan have really stepped up in this uh, as the game's gone on as well. Yeah, agreed. Ryan, but there they are. Both are there. The Sharma again. Really utilising all the depth. Ryan. Gets it out to Faulkner, really nice break. The, the cut's drying up a little bit, but the ones that are coming are getting on it. So they're just doing enough to move it off the line. They're a little bit out of position now. It's okay, they keep it alive. James Fletcher moves it back to Ryan. Ryan, Faulkner, back to Ryan. Little bromance, back to, oh, almost back to Faulkner, no. Moves it through. Now they've got a little bit of flow. That's Sharma. Looks for the open stance. Backy. Can't throw it. Oh, that one dug out of the ground. Goose Jones. Goose Jones back. Nice bid. Can't grab it. Faulkner. Back to Ryan. Ryan fakes going upstairs with the hammer. Instead, goes back. Angus Jones. He's got it back. The cuts have dried up. Irish goes out wide. Fletcher goes up the line, and there's a big oh, D, and he's going to run, massive. and he'll grab it. And this could be it. If I-beam can work 70 oh. metres, they can't. That could have been the game. Could have iced it there, lefty. So Crank just having to be really patient. Handler's not really connecting the downfield, but they get another crack at it. Stack's broken down, no head checking, yeah. so none of the cuts got on it. Oh, Ooh. Sharma knew, <laughs> somehow knew it wasn't for him. Yeah. Instead to Faulkner, and bang, uh, Sharma just gets uh, taken out. Nothing in it. Uh, yeah, his legs clipped a little bit. Mm. Bang, man down. All right. Fletcher with the, uh, sorry, Faulkner, Faulkner with the disc. Trying to work out the discussion with the players, trying to work out what the disc is coming in on. Moves it back. <laughs> Makes it an audacious pushy. Instead, goes the flick, gets the flick out. Mitchell. Back to Kobe Ryan, who's turned into the axis, really. Yeah. And then oh. a little flippy floppy backhand oh, to oh, Ryan. It works out. Works out. They needed that one. It's creative. But Ryan uh, is, is putting a late uh, charge to be best on. He's getting yeah, every absolutely. second disc, but getting him in useful positions and catching goals. Yeah, 
Yeah, early in the game, Irish was really that Axis handler. Yeah, Ryan correct. stepped up to the plate now that Irish has been um, shut down. down yeah. yeah. So Crank showing that they've got some depth in their roster as well. But I think, you know, coach-wise, you'd probably be wanting that stack to tidy up a bit and a bit yeah. more connection continuation because the handlers are having to work bloody hard. Yeah. yeah. So we're at the 80 minute mark, getting into the final uh, stanza of this game. Oh was what we thought it was going to be. Very tight, very close. I-beam just two goals away. Putting their first win in at Nationals. Crank will need to score three if they want uh, the same. As the disc goes up, the wind's really coming towards your screen. So mm. fairly heavy crosswind now, which is a little different from early in the game. Let's see if the players can adjust. We've got Greeny holding the disc. The score count's getting a bit high. Looking for a dub, not liking those options. But luckily as an undercut, centering the disc. Davey. I've been just one a nice easy. Well, that's a lovely inside. Using that break side, as we've said all game, they're looking really good when they're doing that. Crank are doing well to slow things down. Beckoning to Greeny. Utilising that open space. Working really hard to get those open unders. Fakes the hammer. He wants you around. Ooh, nice. Well done to Doherty. Getting on the ground to save that. And inside, flick. That's a goal. Uh, that's a goal. They are one goal away. From a, a pretty uh, impressive resurgence second half. I mean, it, they weren't written off by any stretch, but they it was exactly as um, old mate said. He said, we, we need to respond. We need to change something. Um, Lavis, as, as Lavis said. Um, you know, we need to change something if we're going to actually change the, the outcome yeah. of the game. So, and... and to Ibeam's credit, they responded, so. Absolutely. Crank will have to win it on with their D. They, well, they need to put this in and then their D team will uh, dictate, as you said, nice uh, nice grab there from Doherty. Yeah. I think Irish, Fletcher, Mitchell, sorry, not Fletcher, Faulkner, Mitchell, Ryan, I'd expect that to see them on the line for this one. All right, we're getting getting a bit of uh, a bit of love for Kobe Ryan. Kobe Ryan is goat. Might be early days. You got Titman Wong and Dang on as well, so fairly reliable in that um, space in front of the disc. Sharma, who's popped up a fair bit the last few points. Here we go, nice. That's a pretty decent pull. It's not chilly pulling it, but it's still not bad. Irish grabs it. Goes to Mitchell. Mitchell oh. sees something he likes. And it's you know who. Two on one. The GOAT, <laughs> Kobe Ryan. Maybe, Called it, Andy. Maybe he's putting in. Maybe he's putting in a late bid for GOAT status. He's going to need to do something on D if he's going to get that. Yeah, he's not bad, this kid. Not bad at all. Do it both ends of the disc, eh? Well, I'll have to find out a bit about him. I wonder if he's a, a dingo, oh, sorry, not a dingo, a, a thunder player or a goanna or a blue bottle or a, on any kind of rep team. I wouldn't be surprised. He looks young. He looks young, yeah. They all look young, these days. So every uh, every player now from both teams, or certainly from uh, from Crank, on the field, listening to the call, even if they're on the sideline, they want to be engaged. They want to be calling out, you know, the, the force or what the defensive focus is. So Lucas Love in the comments. Uh, so he's a, dingo. he's a dingo. There you go. And he's on again for this point, so recognising that his... Uh, feeling the vibes. Dingo, he, 
She looks about 12 years old. <laughs> they grow up fast, my friend. Well, hey, look. Power to him. He's, he's playing <laughs> yeah. like one, so... Dingo and Goanna. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I beam playing for the game. Chili, Ooh, great, great cut. Great attack on the disc. Chili goes to Davy. Davy's got it. Looks flick. Goes for the gainer. This could be for the game. Surely it runs on, and that is the game. Nathan Innes catches. I think that's his third or fourth for the game. He's had a good game catching goals. Great put from Chili. And a very enjoyable game in which Crank go down. Pulled just short, 15-13. The GOAT couldn't put him on his back and pull him over the line. But a very enjoyable game. Tim Hayes is filthy. He has to carry around a shard of steel back through the <laughs> Melbourne airport again. But I think coming in, we, we knew these teams were reasonably evenly matched. They knew each other very well. They've played on the opposite team and swapped them back and forth. So... Um, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good play, a lot of good spirit. I think you see as a result of that. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what stood out most for you? Oh, I don't know. I feel like the big game actually when I Beam got going on their offense, it looked really smooth. When especially when they use that break side to their advantage. Yeah. yeah both on that totally. inside and that around. Yeah, the O Davey looked offense. I think their O was always reliable. It was just about lifting that defensive intensity. So once they got that up, then it was all good. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, that is it for the morning uh, session of games. We're going to have a little bit of time for uh, a bite to eat. The next game will be on at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Australian Eastern Time, and that'll be the Manly Mavericks versus Rogue. So 2 p.m. That's not a lot of time. It's 1.40. When did that happen? Okay, that's in 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Never mind me. It might be a very quick lunch. Uh, 2 o'clock, 20 minutes time. Manly Mavericks versus Rogue. Should be a cracker. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you see back then. here then.